Hey yo, Omni Dogs and Omni Kittens. It's Omni Dog here with the second part of my rebirth five years later. What to buy, what to borrow, that is uh, Hoopla or online, some type of comiXology, Kindle, whatever. What to buy, borrow, or uh, ignore, that is, uh, don't get it. Now, uh, keep in mind, this is just my opinion. It's only my opinion, and it's meant as a guide to uh, the best of Rebirth, in my opinion. And this deals with just Rebirth, because Rebirth then uh, becomes DC Universe at a certain point in the timeline, and they don't carry the Rebirth uh, banner anymore. Uh, so that's, um, that's what I'm working with is the rebirth books like <laughs> the rebirth dc universe rebirth as opposed to just regular old this is an awesome cover by the way by art term but this is book four of supergirl and you'll notice there's no rebirth banner on it that that's when it becomes just part of the dc universe and it's not rebirth anymore so it's not part of the i mean Everything continues, but it's not Rebirth. This is about Rebirth. I've made myself clear as mud, I'm sure. Uh, so it's only my opinion. If I say uh, ignore a book and it's your favorite book, it's just my opinion. You go ahead and enjoy it. Uh, it's a big world of letting everybody enjoy what they want. And if I, if I say ignore it and you dig it, continue to dig it. I'm not saying anything personal about you. So let's get into it. Okay, Rebirth, five years later, the trade paperbacks. I already covered hardcovers last video. Uh, the first book I'm going to cover, you do need to read. This is the key to Superman, is Road to Rebirth, the final days of Superman. Um, Superman, in my opinion, is probably the one who is impacted the most by Rebirth. So... If you want to read one of the better books of Rebirth, which is Superwoman, there's only three trades, 18 issues, I think. Uh, 18 issues, three trades. Uh, in this, uh, Lana Lang and Lois Lane, in the beginning, uh, have superpowers and they're Superwoman. To understand how they got their powers, you have to read this. This is very cheap. Um, it's a nice hardback. Don't worry about um, the expense because it's cheap. Uh, or read it online if you want. This is worth owning, by the way. Uh, but this is the key to Superman. Um, so Superwoman is when Lana Lang gains superpowers. Uh, it's a story of her versus, of course, L uh, Lex and uh, some other stuff that happens. I don't want to spoil it for you and I can't go over every single book with a summary or it'll be an hour video and I want this to just be a quick guide. But Superwoman is a definite buy. I love this book. Very well written by Phil Jimenez. He wrote this? Then, uh, yeah. What the? I had no idea he could write that well. Then, okay, he wrote volume one. Then, Kay Perkins and Phil Jimenez write Volume 2, and Volume 3 is strictly Kay Perkins. Yeah, uh, the, the art is great throughout. Uh, kudos for, for Phil Jimenez. I didn't know he could write. I know he can draw. Uh, Superwoman's great. Definite buy. Um, let's see, we won't cover that one just yet. Um, Supergirl. Now, I'm a Supergirl fan. I buy everything Supergirl. Um, that said, the it, Steve Orlando goes up and down for me because uh, he wrote a great Midnighter, and this is a pretty darn good Supergirl. If you're on the fence at all, borrow it, but if you like Supergirl, you will like this. Because, first of all, who couldn't like Batgirl and Supergirl in a book? That needs to be an ongoing book, in this guy's opinion. 
but this book's great because it's got backer on it. That's volume two, Escape from the Phantom Zone. I I like this book, and I think it's th it's three rebirth volumes, and then it continues on with DC Universe. But um, I I am a Supergirl fan. If you're Supergirl fan, buy. If you're on the fence, borrow. And when I say borrow, uh, in my country we have Hoopla. Um, you you may be borrowed from the library. Uh, you can download it for your Kindle. Uh, however you get it online, uh, it's worth borrowing. Um, but for me, it was worth owning. Now, the next, I can't be seen going down like that. I'm just going to drop the books. They're just paperbacks. Uh, there's two books that I think are fun. You can ignore these because they don't mean anything in continuity. These are just fun holiday books. I read them at Christmas time. This is the sequel, a very DC Rebirth holiday sequel. There was a, the first one was, uh, I think, just DC Rebirth holiday special. Um, there's there's a main story that's uh, re revolving around Christmas and the holidays. And um, there are other stories in here, too. Um, it's fun. I like these. It, if you're not into holiday specials, ignore it. But I love it, and so I bought it. So if you're into, into fun one-shots, you can buy it. It doesn't have anything to do with continuity, so you can skip it. You want. Uh, let's see. What's next? This is... Oh, some of these are not Rebirth. Okay. That's why it's such a big stack. The first five Green Lanterns. This deals with Jessica Cruz and Simon Baz as Green Lanterns. I, I love this. This is by Sam Humphreys. Uh, the art is really good. And I like the two characters... Um, I like the two characters, Simon Boz and Jessica Cruz. They get their own book, and I think it's really good. I think if you're a Green Lantern fan, you should own this. Uh, I had two extra books here. This goes up through book five for Rebirth. Then I had two other books here. Um, these are DC Universe. So if you're a Green Lantern fan, I suggest buying these. These are good, especially if you're a fan of Jessica Cruz and Simon. They're really good. Um, two volumes. <laughs> Be here, old thwack of Batwoman by Marguerite Bennett. Um, I'm also a sucker. I like Marguerite Bennett. I love Batwoman. These are pretty good. I would say um, I, I like them well enough to buy them, but I think the majority of people should probably rent them, borrow them. Uh, I just have two volumes here. These were the Rebirth ones. Uh, the same goes for the next few books. Uh, the, better, the best Batwoman story is Detective Comics, which is like a Bat Family story where Batwoman's in charge of uh, the whole Clayface and Orphan and uh, all these other characters. Um, that's the best Batwoman of Rebirth. This is pretty good. I would say this is a solid borrow. Um, the next one is Batgirls and Birds of Prey. I... I... I like this a lot and enough to own it. Um, the problem is, of course, Birds of Prey I, is... I, I like Gail Simone's Birds of Prey better than anything. Um, I would say this is probably a borrow for everyone. It's um, pretty good. It's a solid borrow. I don't know that you necessarily need to buy it. Uh, remember, we're only doing Rebirth, so this could have gone on. I have no idea. I actually stopped it, too. Don't care. Um, but it's a borrow. 
Batgirl. Um, I. It's really well drawn. And I like Hope Larson's other books that she's written independently. And I'm glad she got a shot at the big two. Um, that said, I think this is more of a borrow than a buy. But it's definitely not an ignore. It's worth reading. Um, I would say, and this cover is iconic, I think. This is a great cover to this book. I think this is a solid, um, a solid borrow. Um, now the next ones are buys. These are the four green arrow trade paperbacks by Benjamin Percy. There's a lot of black canary in this, as you might, uh, you might figure out since that's his main squeeze, as they said back in my day. Uh, the art's pretty snappy. The story's really good. I think Benjamin Percy has now pretty much, I think has a solid body of work under him now that I can trust him with uh, a lot of books that I normally, um, normally he's not somebody that I think of as a go-to like Al Ewing or, you know, Jonathan Hickman, but I like Benjamin P Percy a lot. And the first two volumes, I believe were collected into a deluxe hardcover. I did not pick those up. I stuck with the trades. Uh, this Green Arrow is awesome. It's a solid buy. Very good. Very, very good. Um, for you Green Lantern fans out there, uh, there's Hal Jordan in the Green Lantern Corps. Robert Venditti. Buy. I like this a lot. Um, Robert Venditti's a good writer. Uh, the artwork is excellent in this book. Let's see if you can see it. Let me show a little bit more of the art. The art is really good. Doo, doo, doo. And these are in Rebirth. There are four trades. And they are, they are definite buy. Because... Hal Jordan's my favorite Green Lantern. He's the one I grew up on. Uh, whoever you like as a Green Lantern, I think that's great. But Hal's always my Green Lantern. Um, the art is fantastic. Robert Venditti's a great writer. Green Lantern. Uh, Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps is a buy. Now, we will take a short break and talk about the ignores. What should you ignore? Uh, first, Batman Beyond. I, I can't say you should ignore it. I don't know anything about it. So, if you're a Batman Beyond fan, you're going to have to make your own judgment. I'm still catching up on Batman the Animated Series, so I haven't gotten to Batman Beyond yet. So, I don't have any advice for you. Sorry. I never bought it. I don't. I didn't. I wouldn't understand it yet because I'm not there. Uh, Blue Beetle, mm, ignore. Cyborg, sorry, ignore. Um, Hellblazer, don't even think about it. Let me give a plug to the two books that came out under the Sandman Universe by Cy Spurrier. These are great. Uh, these are not part of DC Hell, uh, Rebirth, but Cy Spurrier is the first guy since Hellblazer hit issue 300 in the original series to, and I read all those, and I know my Hellblazer. I don't mean to beat my chest, but I know Hellblazer. This is good Hellblazer. Cy Spurrier finally gets it. So do not get rebirth hellblazer do not get constantine do not get anything that dc has put out since the original hellblazer until size Spurrier. ignore hellblazer rebirth now deathstroke that came out in trade paperback by christopher priest and lots of people like it i'm not a big christopher priest fan the way he tells the story i'm not a big deathstroke fan but I gave it a chance and it didn't work for me. 
So this is a qualified ignore. If you, if you are a Deathstroke fan, there's an omnibus coming out this fall. Uh, the date today is May, May 12th, 2021. So this fall, there's an omnibus that's definitely com coming out because it's up for pre-order right now. If you're a Deathstroke fan, you should consider getting it because this Deathstroke, Deathstroke run is really liked by a lot of people. I personally didn't care for it, but a lot of people did. So I, I ignored it. I gave the books away. But if you're a Deathstroke fan, definitely consider it because apparently this is a really good uh, Deathstroke. Uh, let's see. Hellblazer, Cyborg, blah, 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 blah. So um, also Batman and the Signal. That was a small trade paperback issues one through three. It doesn't affect any continuity. Uh, it's a side thing of Batman's where he takes the signal who was established um, earlier on in the latter part of <clears throat> New 52 and then gets more uh, stuff going on with him in Rebirth. Um, that's Duke. I, I like the signal. So if you... Um, want that miniseries i think it's a solid borrow or possible buy it's um it's not by it's co-written uh by scott snyder with uh somebody else so it's co-written i i still found it interesting i don't i i uh i read it through hoopla or the dc app one of those two that's that's how you can read a lot of these through the dc app uh if you want to borrow um yeah, the DC app. I always forget about it. Um, so Batman and the Signal is just a side thing. Doesn't affect continuity. If you're not into it, you can ignore it. If you want to read it, it's it's an interesting story for a three-issue miniseries. Um, I don't have it because that's something I borrowed. Uh, yeah, I read it on the DC app. Uh, let's go to New Superman. Three volumes by Gene Yang. Uh, volume three is with Mariko Tamaki, too. Gene Yang did one, two, and three in Rebirth. He all, New Superman also has a fourth trade out, and it's got a, the horrible black spine, but that's for DC Universe. These are great. Gene Yang writes a great New Superman. He's a, a Superman in China. Um, that uh, the Chinese develop, they sort of develop him, they give him powers, um, the Chinese do. Um, and I really liked it a lot. Gene Yang hasn't written a book yet that I haven't liked. Uh, I would definitely ask you guys to give this a solid chance. New Superman is really good. Just the fact that Gene Yang writes it should be enough for you. He writes everything really well. I think the comics community is lucky to have him. Have him. Um, eventually there's uh, a, a Chinese version of the Trinity, uh, Superman, their version of Batman and Wonder Woman, and that gets interesting. Um, definitely is this number one? Yeah. Definitely, this is a buy. If you're a little hesitant, go ahead and borrow it on the DC app or Hoopla. I am really happy with these books, and I'm really pleased that I bought them and own them. Uh, I will continue reading it as long as Gene Lang is writing it. So, this is a buy. And now we come to my favorite Rebirth title, of all the titles. My favorite. And strangely, it's written by the same guy that wrote the same title in New 52, the blue. It's Red Hood and the Outlaws by Scott Lobdell. I, I don't know what happened to him because New 52 Red Hood was terrible. I, I hated that book. I love this book. It's got Bizarro and Artemis in there. And I think that they are what makes it so interesting. Um, it's As I say, it's written by Scott Libdell, and Bizarro and Artemis are great in this. I love this book. 
I, and I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating. This is my favorite Rebirth book. Um, Red Hood is interesting. Bizarro and Artemis are fantastic. Um, let me see if I can get some. Well, here's Artemis being a badass. Uh, and Artemis is, of course, from, she's an Amazonian, and Bizarro is Bizarro. Um, I love this book. This is an unqualified buy for the first four volumes. Then it becomes Red Hood Outlaw. Ignore. Do not go. Do not stop. Do not pass. Go. Do not get $200. Ignore it. It becomes horrible again. But these four books are delightful, and I, I can't emphasize enough how much you should get these. Fantastic books. The first four Red Hood and the Outlaws. 100% buy it. Buy, buy, buy. Buy it, buy it, buy it. Uh, then we come to Dan Abnett's Aquaman. He is, Dan Abnett's a really good writer. This is a solid, solid buy. Aquaman, um, they, they, uh, uh, Jeff Johns did a great job with him in New 52, and there was a little blip there, and then it got better, and this is a really good book. I highly recommend Aquaman by Dan Abnett. Rebirth-wise, there are three trades. You can buy these. Definite buy these. And then we come to a book. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, it got, Well, why did I not grab the Rebirth ones? Oh, because I have it in Deluxe. Flash. I am collecting Flash. I think Volume 15 just came out. Uh, the first three are in a Deluxe. Yeah, the first three are in a Deluxe. And it's continued to go because Josh Williamson writes it all through the 15 volumes. Um, I'm a huge fan of this run. This is not Rebirth, uh, but I'm just suggesting that uh, you strongly consider Flash um, for Rebirth. It's great. Really, really good. Josh Williamson uh, definitely has the touch for the Flash. So, oh, um, Teen Titans and Titans. To get into Titans, you should probably start with Road to Rebirth, Titans Hunt, uh, because this has a lot to do with uh, their search for Wally. Um, it's so this is also by Dan Abnett. So this book is good, but it also helps you understand Titans. I don't have Titans or Teen Titans in physical copy. I read them on the app. I highly recommend Teen Titans. It's got Damien in it. And then I, I liked Titans also. I like Teen Titans a little bit more than Titans. So I would say Teen Titans is a definite buy. And Titans is a... You could buy it, but try it online first. Um, why didn't I buy it and why don't I have it here to show you I forgot I forgot about it so I caught up on the DC app Meh, it happens so uh, definitely read teen by Teen Titans and definitely consider Titans um, you, you you can read them online first that brings us to um, let's see I believe um, there's also death of Hawkman which I don't have but it's part of Rebirth. It's a trade and I don't have it. I haven't read it, but it's part of Rebirth. Uh, if you're a completist, I, I do need to read it because I wanna know what happens. Um, and apparently Mr. Miracle by Tom King, Tom King has said, this is the hardcover, but it came out in trade paperback first. So that's why it belongs in this trade paperback version. Uh, Tom King has said, this Mr. Miracle is part of Rebirth. He said it, I read it, so he said it, it's part of Rebirth. Uh, not only is it part of Rebirth, but, Rebirth, but this is one of the best books you're ever going to read. So, however you can get it, read it, buy it, love it. It's awesome. 
If you're married, that'll even help more. If you're in a relationship, that'll help more um, because it nails the marriage scenario. Um, and uh, the uh, challenge of being a father. Uh, that's with Scott Free. 100% uh, recommendation, Mr. Miracle, Tom King has said, it's part of Rebirth. I'm not going to argue with him. It's part of Rebirth. Which brings us to the metal books. Um, Dark Knight's Metal. There, um, this is in the trade paperback section because there is a trade paperback. But also, I will admit to you that I only recently found out through Scott Snyder that he considers Dark Knight's Metal the dark twin to Rebirth. So he considers it part of Rebirth. He wrote it as part of Rebirth. If you're interested in metal, um, I have a video that um, Taylor and I did for Batter Days in the Batcave. I will try to either link it in the description or put it at the end of this video um, for the reading order for Dark Knight's Metal. We went over it on a Batter Days in the Batcave um, and he, he and I loved it. Some people hate it. This is probably, after you watch our video for the reading order, if you're on the fence, I would definitely borrow it because there, it does, there don't seem to be many people that are lukewarm on it. You either like it a lot or you hate it. Taylor and I really liked it. It's part of Rebirth because Scott Snyder said so. I can't argue with him. Um, and, I, and we liked it. So I, the omnibus still hasn't come out four years after he promised me it would. But uh, And that's Scott Snyder at a convention that said it was going to. Maybe someday it'll be made into an omnibus. Who knows? Um, but I haven't read Death Metal yet because um, uh, it's just now being released in collected form. So there's my my talk about metal being part of Rebirth. Scott Snyder said it's the dark twin to Rebirth. There it is. Which brings us to the last book. Doomsday Clock. Well, I can't help it if it's five years late. The th this thing was supposed to be printed in 2018 as part of Rebirth. I don't know what it's part of now. Um, I liked it okay when I read it. I, I mean, this whole thing was supposed to be um, really important and part of Rebirth, the reason for Rebirth, and Dr. Manhattan's in it, and Superman is a focal point of it, and it was supposed to be a really important Rebirth book, and it came out last year, five years later, I, I, or four years later. Then I mean, it was supposed to come out I don't know, three years ago and be part of Rebirth. So I'm only mentioning this because <laughs> this was supposed to be the culmination of Rebirth and I, I, it just came out too late for people to really care, I think. I think a lot of people lost interest. It's I, I think you should at least read it uh, online. You should at least read it through the DC app or Hoopla um, and and read it because it is an interesting, good read. I'm going to read it again because Taylor liked it better than I did. And um, that makes me think there's more to it and I need to read it. Uh, we did a whole video on that too, on Doomsday Clock. But that's the reason I'm mentioning it because this was supposed to be a big part of Rebirth and kind of isn't. It kind of came out, you know, last year when we're solidly in the middle of DC Universe. Uh, so I think that wraps up everything with DC Rebirth paperbacks. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment. Please like and subscribe to this video. And um, I hope that this helped you as part of a guide on what to read and what not to read as part of DC Rebirth. Thank you for watching. Peace and love. Peace and love.